going on, Thunex athletes? I'm Zay Tiggs, and welcome to another video of Official Thunex. Today we'll be doing the best shoulder workout for handstand push-ups. Let's get to it. So if you've been following me, Chris, or the channel in general, you already know that handstand push-ups are a go-to exercise when it comes to developing upper body strength. Not only do they look cool and can be impressive to do, it comes with many benefits. I know for me, when I first started training calisthenics, this was definitely a skill that I wanted to learn. And once I achieved it, it opened doors to harder skills like the handstand 90 degree push-up and more. This exercise requires balance, coordination, and extreme upper body and core strength, not to mention shoulder strength, muscle mass, and works many stabilizer muscles. But as difficult and intimidating as they appear with the right training and progressions, they're totally possible. And with today's work, Workout, we'll be doing exercises that will help build the strength in your shoulders to work your way up to handstand push-ups. But before we begin, it's important to understand that the handstand hold itself is already challenging. So you want to make sure you're able to hold a solid handstand for about 20 to 30 seconds before attempting freestanding handstand push-ups. So if y'all are ready, all you need to do is download the Thenix app in the App Store or Google Play Store, go to the YouTube workout section, find today's workout, and let's get started. First exercise we got, dumbbell shoulder press, neutral grip for 10 reps. Let's do it. So just grab a pair of dumbbells. You're gonna to wanna to pick a weight that's gonna challenge you, but allow you to perform 10 reps comfortably and with perfect form. We're gonna place our backs against the wall, dumbbells out in front. We're gonna stay at 90 degrees, push up, come back down, stop at 90. 10 reps. one all right there we have the dumbbell shoulder press if you saw we use the neutral grip for this exercise this grip is easier on the shoulder joint and uses the same muscle mechanics as the handstand push-up while taking out the balance factor now moving on to the next exercise we got dumbbell overhead carries for 30 seconds let's do it overhead carries are a very functional movement for power strength and stability so go ahead pick a weight that's gonna challenge you and able to control overhead so let's go ahead, pick these up, straight overhead. We're going for 30 seconds, let's go. Go at your own pace. The most important thing here is to make sure you're controlling these weights overhead and stabilizing them. Remember to elevate the scapula. Reach high. And there we have dumbbell overhead carries. Getting good at these is gonna improve your overhead stability, pushing, and core strength. That's gonna translate over to the handstand push-up. Moving on to the next exercise, we got the spike push-ups with the hands elevated for 10 reps. Let's do it. All right, so to make this exercise a little bit more challenging, we're gonna go ahead and place our hands on an elevated surface. This is gonna increase the range of motion on the way down and help us get the most out of this exercise. If you're a beginner, feel free to do these on the floor. So find something that's gonna allow you to elevate your hands a few inches off the ground, and let's go for 10 reps. Make sure you're going all the way down. That's why we elevated the surface to increase that range of motion. All right. There we have pike push-ups with their hands elevated. Now we're gonna go ahead and perform that same exercise, only this time with our feet elevated with elevated pike push-ups for 10 reps. By elevating our feet on a higher surface, we're putting more of our body weight onto our shoulders, making the move a lot more challenging. Let's go for 10 reps. I'm gonna walk your hands back, hand shoulder width apart. We're gonna lean forward, 
push back up. 10 reps. Alright, there we have elevated pack push-ups. Another great exercise that helps your body get used to pushing in a more vertical position. Now moving on to the next exercise, we got handstand push-ups facing the wall for eight reps. Now with this exercise, we'll be in a completely vertical position, putting even more of our body weight onto our shoulders, getting us closer to that real handstand push-up. Let's go for eight reps. You wanna make sure to leave a little bit of room not get too close to the wall, that way we're mimicking the actual handstand push-up. Let's go for it. And there we have handstand push-ups facing the wall. As you can see, I was using my feet to assist me during each rep. This is one reason why I like to do them with my chest facing the wall. Now moving on to the last exercise, we got negative handstand push-ups freestanding. Let's go for five reps. Again, if you're unable to perform handstand push-ups freestanding, you can always use a wall for support. Let's go for it. And there we have it, freestanding, handstand push-up negatives. And that completes round one for today's shoulder workout. If you're able to do it with me, congratulations. But remember, you wanna make sure you're able to complete two more rounds to get the full benefits of this workout. So thank you so much for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to smash that like button and share it with a friend who's trying to get their handstand push-up. To get this workout and more workouts like this, go to Fenix.com, become a member, and get full access to all our workout programs, technique guides, and daily workouts that'll have you in the best shape of your life. Download the Denix app in the App Store or Google Play Store and take our workouts with you everywhere. And don't forget, we post every single Sunday at 8 p.m. USA Eastern Time. And if you comment down below within the first 30 minutes, you always have a chance to win some free Denix gear. Let us know what you want our next video to be about. And for more of my personal content, you can follow me on YouTube and Instagram as ATIGS. And with that being said, I'll see you guys next Sunday.